So I'm going to show you my brand new set of So Simple Shapes called Farmhouse Star. So I designed these so that it's the same star shape like here, the five pointed stars, but in six different sizes. So you can make a four inch star, six inch, eight inch, 10 inch, 12 inch, and 16 inch. So you can see the numbers correlate with the size of the star. Each size has the center and then the point. So that's what this C means after the 16 C. 16 means this makes the 16 inch star and this one is the point for the star. So these are the two shapes that you need to make 16. These are the two shapes you need to make the 12 inch, the two that you need to make the 10 inch, the eight inch, the six inch, and the tiny, tiny four inch. So these blocks right here that I did with Autumn Love, I these are the eight inch size. So we'll see how they match up there. So I have another video that I've shown how to do my so simple shapes and I do these the exact same way. And they're really fun because you can make each point scrappy or if you want to, you can make a star with one, just one fabric. So, but for the background, what I used for these, I wanted to show you, I used my, my um, B backgrounds. I keep them all stacked up and I just sewed four together for a four patch. And I think it adds a lot of interest to the background. So I'm going to show you how to make the star all one size when we have these little pieces. So after I've sewn my four five inch squares together, I also like to press them open in the back so that everything is flat for when you applique. And then I use my eight and a half inch trim it ruler to trim the block up, you know, to, to the size so that will fit together in the quilt. Okay, so I switched over to Cozy Christmas Fabric and I'm using 12 inch stars and six inch stars. Look how cute they go together. You could like sew them all around or just use both sizes together. But I wanted to show you how I traced the full star just out of these templates. Because I do it this way because if you're doing it all the same fabric, then there's no sense in making five different points individually. It's just a lot faster to do one. So all you have to do is simply trace it onto the interfacing first. So what I do is I just put the center, trace it around, and then I trace each point. It matches up to the straight lines. And I just tuck it under just a little bit to make room for this center when it lays over it that it will cover all of those points. So that's all I do is I just tuck it under and I do this the same with every size, whether it was the, like the, I showed you the eight inch ones with Autumn Love, I did that the same way. And then you just go ahead and sew your center separately and just go ahead and sew this whole thing. And then all you have to do is just lay it right on there and it lines up when you put it on your background over here. For the 12 inch, for the scrappy, again, you just lay it down here and when you do the points, you just tuck them under a little bit all the way around so the center goes on there. And on these, I wanted to show you, I did some machine applique on there, just, just a straight stitch, kind of like top stitching, and it makes for a really fast block. I think this would make a really fun quilt, like this could be one row, you could add some bigger ones here and there in between. I just, I like using six and 12 inch sizes together. In this set, there's the eight and 16 would go together and that kind of thing. There's just, you could, you could make um, three, four inch stars, tiny to make those match up with the 12. It's just all about quilty math and quilty fun. Okay, so I wanted to show you a fun little project that I made with this little bitty four inch point. Obviously this little teeny one <clears throat> is too little to use like I do traditionally with my sewing interfacing. But I wanted to include it in there because I knew that it would be perfect for my wool. So I made this cute little pillow by using um, my Autumn Love fabric and I used my four inch circle ruler 
with the dark gray linen, Riley Blake linen, and I used my interfacing and I just did it like I did a so simple shape. So there's interfacing on the back of these circles. And then I just cut out the points with this cute little shape. I didn't even use the center. See, I just did the points. And then I did um, just a simple whip stitch around and I did it on the circle first. So it was all done. And then I did some chunky stitching here with all six strands of my Aura Floss in the cloud color. And then after I finished all these cute little star cookies, then I cut three and a half inch squares of Autumn Love, sewed them together, pressed the seams open like I showed you a few minutes ago, and then I appliqued them on, and then I squared them up with my five and a half inch trim it ruler. So now this pillow is 15 inches wide, and then I added two inch strips around with the dark linen, dark gray linen, and stitched around it and put them inside an 18 inch pillow form. And I think it turned out really cute. And I did the envelope back like I usually do with all of my pillows. All right, so I wanna show you one more thing that I have going here with my Farmhouse Star, So Simple Shapes. I am doing another pillow with just one star in the 16 inch size. So what I did is I took my new wide back fabric. This is my Farm Life um, wide back in steel color. And I, I quilted it already. So I backed it with some of my Autumn Love fabric and I just, you know, like cross hatched quilted it because I'm using wool for this. And when you're using this large of wool pieces, sometimes you want something a little bit more stable on the back. And I like that my pillow will already be quilted so I can just do the envelope back. So I just cut my wool shapes out. I used freezer paper or you can use, um, you know, to put my pattern on or you can use shape flex or, you know, anything like that, iron on just, or you can use glue, whatever you want to do. And, but I just wanted to show you what it looks like with the shapes. So for that, I would just tuck that out underneath the center. Just kind of give you an approximation on what this will look like. I think it'll make a really cute pillow. And then, you know, once I baste it down, iron it down, whatever I want to do, then I'm just going to do like the buttonhole stitch around here, maybe the feather stitch down here or around, you know, just kind of decorate it. And I just think it'll be really cute with this pillow for some fun fall decor.